store. New charges filed now against the duo accused of killing a Carlsbad woman in her sleep. Prosecutors say 63-year-old Marge Gowett was tortured before being stabbed to death. 10 News reporter Rena Nakano joins us from Vista after attending a very emotional hearing. Rena. Yeah, good evening. Both the victims, loved ones, and the defendants who pleaded not guilty today were in tears after hearing about the last moments that led up to Marge Gowett's life. She was stabbed upwards of 50 times in her face, her neck, and her back. It was the news Marge Gowett's loved ones were not ready to hear. They knew she was taken from them, but the sheer violence of the crime was unthinkable. And they were devastated by the loss. It was the first time they saw the duo accused of killing the 63-year-old while she slept in her Carlsbad home Monday. 26-year-old Melissa James sat tearfully with a bandage on her thumb. Her partner in crime, 37-year-old Ian Bushy, in the defendant's box. He, too, looking down, avoiding eye contact with the victim's loved ones. They are both charged with murder. They both have a special circumstance allegation for the murder being done in the commission of a residential burglary. There is an additional charge that pertains only to Miss James for torture. Prosecutors didn't give details on this new torture charge, but they did expand on the two transients' criminal history. Both are on probation from San Bernardino after being arrested for residential burglary last April, one of the many reasons for no bail. So based upon their criminal history and their lack of ties, we do believe they're a flight risk. We also believe they're a danger to the community. Currently, there is no bell set. By the end of the hearing, Ian Bushy also began to shed a few tears. It happened the moment he heard his potential maximum sentence. Due to the special circumstances, they are both eligible for the death penalty. And Carlsbad police will be hosting a community meeting for anyone interested. They say it's going to be at their safety training center on March 20th. That's a Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. Reporting live in Vista tonight, I'm Rena Nakano. 10 News. Rena, thank you. The documented.